Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and one of the things that you don't know about me yet is that I like to order a lot of stuff off eBay and then never open the packages when they actually arrive. So I thought that it would make a good video if I started to work my way through some of those items. And the one that I want to start with is a pocket station which I ordered from Japan a few years back and have never actually taken it out of its wrapper. It's a transparent one. I don't know what condition it's in, but um, let's find out together, shall we? So here is the package that I got from Japan. Um, it came all the way from Kanazawa. Um, there's no date on it yet, but I know what's inside. There's a pocket station inside here. Um, so let's crack it open. Scissors. How to make opening packages look difficult by Sammy Barker. They don't want to rip it. Okay, so package is open. The pocket station is in here. Let's pull it out, shall we? So there it is. It's in bubble wrap at the moment. Um, looks in decent condition. Just tear through the bubble wrap. Okay, so here is the pocket station in its original box. Looks pretty decent condition. Um, there's no tears or anything on the cover or, or um, on the box itself. Um, it says it's white, but I'm pretty sure I ordered transparent. Oh, I can't remember. Okay, shall we open it? Okay, so there's some literature in here um, all the way from Japan. I can't read a word of it but I assume that's maybe a warranty or something like that. Pretty cool. It says pocket station on it. That's the only word I can read. And here's the manual. There's a cute little pocket station guy on there who says hello. Um, let's open it up. How would you uh, like how to use it, how to change the battery, all that sort of stuff. There's a, there's a little picture, which I'll try and make bigger if I can, of a guy swinging the pocket station around and cracking someone on the head with it. Like it's a yo-yo or something. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see this, but um, the pocket station is inside the box there, along with the cord, which allows you to basically put it around your wrist or whatever, or hook it onto your belt. So let's take it out. So it appears I bought the white one. I thought I bought a transparent unit, but there we go. Uh, it's in really good condition. Here is the pocket station in its original bag. Um, wow, it, it's in perfect condition, actually. Um, it's still got the little thing that they put in the, the battery compartment to stop it from wasting its batteries while it's on store shelves. So that hasn't even been pulled out yet, and that's cool. that's really cool. So for those of you that don't know, the Pocket Station released in 1999 in Japan, and it was designed to work as a memory card for the PlayStation 1, but it also allowed you to download little mini games with compatible software, which allowed you to take your progress out and about with you. It was planned to come to the West, but there were production um, problems in Japan because it was so popular. It actually went on to sell almost 5 million units in three years, which is pretty damn impressive for an optional little extra. Um, and despite Sony planning to bring it to the West and North America, they eventually decided that the PlayStation 2 was launching imminently, so they'd leave it as a curiosity for the Japan gamers. But despite that, there were a handful of games that were actually localized in North America and Europe that included um, Pocket Station compatibility, despite the... the uh, the platform never releasing overseas, um, and Final Fantasy VIII is one of those, so there's a bit of pub quiz trivia for you. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that actually, it's in really, really good condition, it's practically brand new despite it being almost 20 years old now. Um, I'm going to include a montage at the end of this video so you can see it in better detail what I've actually bought. Um, yeah, and I'm going to do a few more of these unboxings if people like them, I've actually got 
the Optimus Prime that transforms into a PS1 console. I kid you not, this is a real thing and I've never opened it. So yeah, um, maybe we'll have a look at that next. Um, in the meantime, let us know what you think in the comment section below about the Pocket Station. Have you ever seen one? Do you want to own one? Um, do you think Sony should have brought it out? Although we're probably a few years late for it to change its mind about that. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for helping me to open my eBay packages and I'll catch you next time.